This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, Sam has a small rectangular garden plot that has a 36 foot perimeter. The width of the garden is exactly one half of its length. What is the area of Sam's garden in square feet? So again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not gonna have a reference sheet or a calculator. For that reason, in addition to knowing these basic formulas, you also have to be able to perform these basic calculations by hand. In this case, we're talking about a rectangle. And one property of rectangles that you should know is that this width is equal to this width and this length is equal to this length. As a matter of fact, we can call this W for width and L for length. Now, how do you find the perimeter of a rectangle? Well, to find the perimeter of any regular polygon, you simply add up all of its sides. So its perimeter would be W plus L plus W plus L. Now, in this case, in order to solve this one, we also have to pay very close attention to this fact right here. Its width is exactly half of its length. So that means I could rewrite its width to be equal to one half of its length, that is one half L. And that means this width is also gonna be one half L. So wherever we see W in the perimeter formula, we're gonna replace it with one half L. So this becomes one half L plus L plus one half L plus L. What's more, we know the perimeter of this rectangular garden is 36 feet. So we can replace P here with 36. And now we can solve for L. Um, let's add these up. L and L is gonna be two L. Half L, half L is gonna be one L. So this becomes 36 equals three L. And let me do that off to the side if you can't do it. Uh, let's do one half plus one half. Uh, in this case, we're adding fractions that have the same denominator. So we're gonna keep two the same. We're gonna add our numerators. This becomes two over two, which is one. So again, one half and one half is one L. L, L, and L is gonna be three L. Now we can solve for L by dividing both sides by three. This crosses out. This says L is equal to 36 divided by three, which is gonna be 12. All right, so we know L is 12. What is our width? Our width is one half of L. So our width is gonna be one half times 12. If you can't do that mentally, do it off to the side. We have one half times 12. When you multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across. This becomes one times 12, which is 12, over two times one, which is two. 12 divided by two is six. So we can see that our width is gonna be six. All right, now we have enough information to find our area. We know our length of our rectangle is 12 and our width is six. So this becomes area of a rectangle is length times width. This becomes 12 times six. 12 times six is gonna be 72. So the answer to this one is C, 72 inches. If you couldn't do 12 by six uh, mentally, do it off to the side. Two times six is 12, carry a one. One times six is six plus one is seven. So the answer to this one is C.